Could it be that all roads lead to the passive flora? Welcome back. Hmm, when I look at you, why, I almost regret I'm no longer... Take care now. Sure. Yes. How do you play for high stakes here? Firstly, we must have the proper effects. Let's have a look at our cards, shall we? As I thought, let's return once we've collected better cards, hmm? And a thousand crowns for the buy-in, of course. Achoo! The new feast. I shall pretend I did not hear that. No discounts, no. Hey there, handsome. As a war veteran. We can go at it here. Ah! So, I suppose, might have been days in the past when I'd have said, wonderful, but I can't complain. I'm in one piece, not bound to a steak atop a pyre. Ever considered leaving, forgetting no regret altogether? What for? To pass from the frying pan into the fire? The war's not yet crept here. Famine's not kicked our door. Not that the future's looking rosy. But you don't have to be human. 
maybe you could try something else. I've seen many forms over the years, and in spite of all, life as a human has proven most interesting. After all, you humans rule the world. Gotta admit, your Menga, it's a brilliant impersonation. Don't remind me. I'm rather disgusted. Come on, he wasn't all out terrible. You understand nothing. A doctor assumes more than a man's external appearance. I've learned what a scoundrel had knocking about in his head. Once I became him, not an hour passed before I felt the urge to break her sorceress's fingers. After two, I caught myself lusting to impale someone, and immediately after that, it hit me. The paranoid fear of a Doppler conspiracy. The halfling Bibervelt goes from being a prosperous merchant to being a pauper. How? Prefer the long version or the short? Short, please. The war. I was under the impression merchants grow fat on wars. Some do, but I have a serious personality flaw. I'm honest. I could not reap the profits from the suffering of others. I paid taxes. I never cooked my books. And then, a ship full of my goods sank. I pulled through somehow, but then a second fell prey to skeleton raiders, rendering me insolvent. When inflation hit and interest rates rose, I, at long last, fell. Take care of yourself, Doodoo. Oh, those bigots haven't the cunning to strip me of this mask. For you, my friend, always. Gotta tell me, how do you wind up owning this establishment? <laughs> You'll never believe this. I inherited it from none other than Alonzo Whiteley, poor son senior himself. You're right, I don't believe it. Alonzo ruled the local underworld with an iron fist, but deep down, he was a romantic, pure as they come. This place is one of the reasons his son's not my biggest fan. See, Cyprian Jr., that is, wanted to make this a brothel, but the rosemary went to me, and I planned to turn it into the most elegant venue in town, a den of art and culture. How do you and Priscilla meet? Huh. It was at the court of Duke Harold, the annual balladry contest. We faced off in the fight. Who won? I don't remember. I bet. Probably lost and you don't want to admit it. Actually, she caught my eye, so I let her win. I was counting on getting a prize after the contest. And did you? <laughs> that, my friend, is not your concern. Ran into Molly. She says hello. Molly? Which Molly? One you promised to show your butterfly collection to. Ah, uh, yes. Now I remember. Butterfly collection? You of all people could stand to be a little more inventive. Molly didn't need inventive. She needed attentive. Average, run-of-the-mill girl. Give her a smile. Notice her shoes. Let her chat about them a bit. And she turned into a wellspring of passion. Got a portrait of Hierarch Hemelford I'm willing to part with. Want it? Yes. Those halfling painters. This one of theirs? Uh, mm -hmm. Wonderful. I put this up at the Rosemary in time. It'll make those temple guard inspections so much easier. See you, Dandelion. I never refuse. Let's play.
seems I won. Great fucking shock, given your frankly amateur dick. Here, take this card. You need it. You'd do well to fix your collection. It's downright porous. Don't need you bringing me shame a good dandelion for that. You might skim something off your mate, Roach. He's said to have good cards, that one. Master.
Clear. Been here, you've been there. So tell me, is it really the fashion? It's best be wary of the other side of the river. One false move, and you could be. When this is all over, I aim to open a whorehouse in Vizima. A problem one. With shaggy rugs on the walls and. Smelling candles in. 